Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to try to keep this video under 20 minutes, 25. I have been noticing that my last two videos, wax related, were in like the 45 hour mark and I was like, that's just way too long. So I'm gonna try to keep this short and brief and just move along. I do have one question for you guys. So I have to do my taxes here soon. So I'm curious, what is a scent you would recommend to keep me nice and calm while I'm trying to do taxes? I have to do our personal taxes and I have to do business taxes. I, I don't think I ever mentioned that Ashley and I opened up a business. So we have to do our taxes for that and that should be very interesting. Um, <laughs> kind of a crazy story there, but we're gonna get through it. Okay, so yes, comment down below a scent that you find relaxing. It can be from any vendor, it can be any scent. I need something that's gonna, you know, relax me. Okay, let's start with Super Tarts. I will keep timestamps down below of each of the vendors that I talk about because I do try to go in vendor order or some sort of order. So we're gonna start with Super Tarts. The first one I have here is Mallow Dramatic. This is Mac Apple, Spun Sugar, and Mellow Fluff. So initially when I smelled this, the apple was very dominant and it just smelled like a good scent. I thought, oh, I'm really gonna like this apple. I'm not usually an apple person, but I've come back around to apple. What happened is the apple really kind of mellowed out really fast. So it just started to smell like Spun Sugar and Mellow Fluff with just a little bit of apple. Not one I would reorder. I just, you know, I don't know. When I have an apple scent, like I need something kind of to be going on with it. And it just kind of was like a toned down apple really because of the other two, you know, like whenever you have like, I feel like sponge sugar, which I guess is cotton candy and marshmallow, it's gonna tone down sometimes, just in my opinion on this scent anyways, it's just gonna tone down like that stronger scent and that's what happened. So sleep tight, I really enjoyed this one. Usually when I do super tarts, I do it in my living room in the 24 watt warmers, the hot plates. So I usually get a really uh, strong throw from that. This is lavender, strawberry, and vanilla buttercream. So this one to me was strawberry dominant. I could smell a little bit of lavender in here, but when I walked into the room, it wasn't super forward. It was more that strawberry scent. And it was the nice strawberry. It's like the more realistic smelling strawberry to me and the buttercream just kind of gives it a little bit of a different smell. Yeah, I think the lavender in there too is her sweet lavender, I feel like. I mean, I could be incorrect on that, but I feel like it was her sweet lavender. But like I said, this one was more strawberry forward, but I do feel like the lavender gave the strawberry, it like backed it up with something, if that makes sense. Okay, this next one is Dembun's Dough. <laughs> This is, e. okay, cinnamon rolls, cream cheese frosting, and pie crust. This one was one of those scents that is just like cinnamon bakery. Uh, like, I don't know, nothing really stood out to me as being cinnamon rolls. Like I have a cinnamon roll scent from her that I feel like is more cinnamon roll than this. To me, this just smelled like cinnamon, sugar, and some bakery. I couldn't really smell pie crust. Yeah, this one is not one I need again. It was nice. It, you know, scented up the room nicely. It was fine. I didn't love it. It wouldn't be a reorder though. Um, Persimmone Snickets is, I think this used to be Rory. Um, this is persimmon, ice cookies, strawberry, breakfast pastry. I think this is supposed to be strawberry, pop tarts, and of course the persimmon. So. Actually, sorry, this is called Persimmony Snickets. I don't know if I said that. I, sometimes I refer to the old names. <laughs> I don't, I'm not, like the new names don't make sense to me, or they make sense to me, but they don't, like they don't register in my brain yet. So this smelled like strawberry Pop-Tarts. And then the persimmon is a little bit more of a tart, not sour, but it gives it more of like a bite, like a sour candy bite. Do you know what I mean? So not sour, like milk, yucky sour, but sour candy bite is what I'm referring to. Hopefully that makes sense. So this one was really good. I love the strawberry Pop-Tart smell. I think that smells pretty like 
accurate to me. It smells like, you know, you took a strawberry pop tart, you cut it in half and you can smell it. Yeah, really like this one. And then it's just got the added notes of the um, persimmon in there. I don't know why, I'm so sorry. I don't know why my camera, I need to fix the settings on it. Amateur. <laughs> Okay, let's move into Destination Wax really fast. I have a few from there. Okay, so Destination Wax, we have Lavender Province, which is the scent of lavender blossoms. So this one is really pretty. If you like lavender scents, I think you would like this one. I don't, I can't compare it to any other lavender right now because to me it smells like a typical lavender. I don't, you know, I think this, if you like lavender, I think this is one to try because it's pretty much like lavender, like you would get from any vendor. Uh, Destination Wax does have a few different lavenders. She's got like lavender twilight, lavender pink sugar, lavender fresh, lavender rosemary. So I would need to go back and smell those to see how they compare. But this one to me, when I smell it, just knowing what I know, it smells like a lavender scent that you would get from just like a, if you wanted straight lavender. Um, and it did pretty well. Yeah, it did pretty well. Cocoa butter cashmere. This is, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. So I melt this, I warmed this, sorry, I warmed this in two different areas. This is sweet tonka bean, coconut jasmine, sandalwood, amber, musk, warm spices, and cocoa butter. So I feel like I would have liked this better if it was a cocoa butter or something else besides cashmere. I don't think I was loving like the cashmere smell. Now, when I did this in a big open concept area, I did not like it at all. I was like, oof, that cashmere scent is really not doing it for me. The cocoa butter is the only thing that saved me because it's more of like a sweet, uh, creamier scent. And the cashmere has a lot of floral well it has jasmine in it i know some people do not like jasmine but it smells good on cold like i really do like it but i did warm two cubes of this in the bathroom and then i ended up like really liking it it was just i don't know what it is i have a pink zebra 17 watt warmer in my bathroom and that thing just does so amazing like it just i don't know it warms things so well so i don't know if i just having it in such a big space was a bad idea or what Bonfire Marshmallow, I really did not get a ton from this one. This, so this is Bonfire Bliss and Sugary Marshmallows. I didn't love this one. I mean, it's got that fire smell and then the marshmallow going on and I just didn't love it. It was, I just don't, I don't think I like Bonfire smell. Um, so, but it was sweetened up with the marshmallows, so that's fine, but it's just not one that I need to like have or you know, whatever. I wouldn't get this in a loaf is what I'm saying. Coast of Sicily. Okay. This might have been the favorite. So I had worn this once before and I said, I didn't get a good scent throw. And so I would say that again, I would say the deal with this one is I would say it's more of like a low to medium scent throw, but you can smell it. You can smell it. You know, it's there, but it's a lighter scent, which is kind of weird because whenever I say things are like a low scent throw, I always say like, Oh, I couldn't really smell it. You could smell this, but it was, what's the word? Muted, maybe? <laughs> it was so odd. I almost want like some more of this. I almost want like a loaf of it so I can keep warming it over and over again because I really, really like this. Okay, so the the way this smelled to me is like, it was kind of, it reminded me of salty sea air, but maybe a little bit more of like a crisp air like more salt in it, kind of maybe like a Mediterranean, uh, Mediterranean spa type scent. And then it had the lavender and the violets. So it kind of gave it a little bit of like a floral. And then like you got the, a little bit of lavender. This one was just really pretty. I like, I was surprised that I, especially when you're warming it, when I smell it in the bag, it smells different than it did on warm, like warmed it really just blossomed into a really pretty scent. I just enjoy this one so much. So, but again, it was weird because like I would get hits of fragrance and then I would kind of smell it and then I wouldn't, but I, that salty sea air, well, not salty sea air, but the Mediterranean spa air is what really came through on this one. And then the lavender and violets just kind of gave it like something special. So really enjoyed that one. 
Um, and I did that one in, so I broke the bar, it was six pieces. I broke the bar into three pieces each and put it in my 24 watt Ashland hot plates. And yeah, it seemed to go for a while. I finally turned it off because I had had it on all day. So yeah. Okay, so this next one is Scentsy Fried Ice Cream. I had this in my club. This one is not in my club anymore. This was just kind of, I'm not gonna do scent notes on these, but you, I mean, you can figure it out, fried ice cream. It just was a cinnamon sugar type scent. I just didn't love this. I didn't think there was anything like special or unique about this one. I feel like you can get this in all kinds of vendor wax, so I, you know, I mean, you can get cinnamon sugar, like I'd rather get like a cinnamon sugar, like bread or something from a, like a vendor than keep, you know, keep having that in my club. So, um, it did great though. It did great for, um, a few days. I think, um, I turned my warmers off and then I turned them back on and it, you know, performed great. Okay. This next one is Scentsy Mango Shortcake. And this one I have a scent description for. This is warm baked cupcake topped with whipped vanilla and juicy man mango. This is in my club and will stay in my club for a little bit. I love this. This one is so good. I love mango smells now, which is so odd for me. But this is, um, this had a great like bakery going on. And then with the mango, it just, oh, it was so good. The, the bakery really came through and so did the mango the mango wasn't like overly strong. I think the shortcake was probably like the bakery note was probably the strongest part, but I loved this. This is probably one of my favorites from that collection. I did like the mango margarita, but I margarita smells are kind of hit and miss with me. Okay, so I wanted to pull up a scent description for this one. So Starburst Sky. Okay, Scentsy Starburst Sky. So this one is sweet apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, and amber blossom so i don't know what happened with this one this one is really really strong i um, put it in all my kitchen warmers i usually do a full bar like throughout all of my warmers in my kitchen if you look it's let's see a sensi bar is 3.2 fluid ounces 2.6 ounces i think or yeah 2.6 ounces net weight so if you think about it, you're essentially doing like one and a half. Well, I do like a, about a little less than an ounce in each warmer. So a bar works for me. Um, this one though, I hate to say it. And I, if you like this one, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to like, um, you know, bring anybody scent down. That's their favorite. But this one smelled like the, for the first time ever. I never knew what people were talking about when they were talking about when they said something smelled like cat pee. But this one smelled like something i don't know if it was cat pee essentially but it just ugh, it was not good i don't know what it was i think maybe it was the amber blossom and then i thought about it and i'm like wait a second i think amber blossom isn't it that uh downy um there's a downy scent called Ap amber i think it's called amber blossom that i really like so because I, I was trying to smell this and figure out what was throwing me off I think it's just too sweet of an apple. I don't know. Oh, I just, I don't know. It just, it doesn't smell bad in the, in the, the thing, but now that I'm smelling it in the clamshell, I'm thinking to myself like, oh yeah, I remember the day that I warmed this because everyone was like, or no, not everyone, but Ashley was like, what is that? <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't smell bad in the, I feel kind of bad. It doesn't smell bad in the clamshell, but just warming, something was coming out on it that I just didn't like. And maybe it was the amber blossom. I don't know. Amber sometimes can be weird, I feel like. So Apple Press is another one that's in my club. I don't know how long this one's going to stay. So this is obviously an apple scent. I think it has pear in it as well. This one to me smells like a fall apple. It has almost like that circus concession apple smell to me. And I don't know why, because it doesn't have any bakery stuff in it at all. Um, or at least I don't think it does. But this one I really liked. This one goes for quite a while. 
Yeah, it almost smells like a sweet apple to me and uh, like a fall apple, like a, it's got like spices in it or something, but I, I'm pretty sure the scent description is like apples and pear. So I don't know, maybe it's the pear coming through, but I did hear my friend Susan say that the, um, this one, when it ended, kind of had like a floral smell to her. I think that's what she said, something like that. And she didn't like it. So this one is kind of hit or miss. But this one I can see warming in the fall. I don't know how many, how long it's going to stay in my club for. I'll probably get a few more and then uh, call it Clementine Blossom. So I don't remember what's all in here. But I did like this one. And this one is staying in my club. This one was really nice. This is just the perfect, like, not too floral not overly orange smelling or like citrus smelling just enough of both but it was a really strong scent oh i loved this one this one was so so good even smelling it now i'm like yes <laughs> this is from the this is from the valentine's collection so i do have this one clubbed i think yeah this is from valentine's i believe this one is clubbed because when I warmed it, I just, I was like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, this one, I had to talk about this one. I had to warm it after talking about it in my Scentsy haul because I was like, I was saying how much I loved it and I hadn't warmed it yet. And I like to have things like warmed. I don't know why this, why are we not focusing? There we go. Why does it take so long? I don't understand. Okay, Harry Potter is... Sparkling citrus, green apple, mahogany woods, vanilla, and a touch of amber add warmth and charm. Okay, this one is a deep wood note, okay? And then when you put it on a warmer, the citrus kind of pops out of there and gives it like a little something different. So if you like woody scents, kind of masculine scents, it's not cologne -y to me. To me, it's more of like a woodsy and then that pop of citrus just gives it like a little something special. I really liked it. I don't know that I got green apple out of here. Yeah, see on warm, it just transforms from cold, I feel like. I mean, it smells pretty similar to how it does on cold, but warm, I really get that citrus. When I'm smelling it now, I don't smell the citrus as much, but if you like woody notes and you like a little bit of citrus, I feel like this one is great. So I, I don't know that I'm gonna, like if this is gonna go away or anything, if I would club it, but I might grab a few more just to have on hand. My husband really enjoyed that one. Almond Croissant. Okay, this was inspired by, oh, who had it? I'm trying to think of her name. Dong, Donger, Dong's mom. Ugh, I can't remember. Okay, I, I can't remember her name. Something like that. <laughs> Almond Croissant. She had talked about this one and I was like, that sounds amazing. So this one to me, I loved. This one it was a strong one too. It went for a, cu cu bleh, a couple of days. It smells to me like you take almond extract and you put it in like this really delicious bread, doughy type bakery element. I don't know that I get like a bread from it, but it's the almond comes through and it's like this most d like delicious almond smell. So I don't even know what an almond croissant is. I don't think I've ever had one or seen one offered anywhere that I've been. So it just has, yeah, it smells like an almond extract. And then you get a like bready, not bread, not really like bready, not vendor bready, but it's a bakery, almost like a sweet um like cookie smell but not cookie that's not making any sense i don't know if you like bakery you should try this <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say um sensi also too my consultant sent me two samples of lemon drizzle cake and i did this in the bathroom but i th think the samples were just too small i think she mostly sends the samples for you to like smell so you can kind of get an idea. I tried to warm them because I had two of them, but I just don't know if it was enough wax, but I could still smell this. Um, this one was just like it says, it's just like a cakey note with the lemon scent. It wasn't, like to me, all vendors have like lemon bakery. So to me, lemon bakery is never really that crazy special or anything. So, okay, let's do L3. So L3 Waxy Wonders, we have 
cake batter, ice cream, vanilla crunch, maple syrup. So this one was really good. Now, initially the cake batter and the ice cream vanilla crunch were like the forward notes. And then, and I love those notes, by the way, that it, it just gives this like really nice bakery scent to me. And then the maple started to come in and I was like, uh oh, cause maple for me is just too like sweet. So it lost like the cake batter smell and started to go maple on me. And I was like, Ugh. but this one was good in the beginning. I didn't hate this one, but I liked it better in the beginning. Yeah, she, I mean, to me, sometimes when people say like there's bakery, like the cake batter, the ice cream, vanilla crunch, I never smell those. And this one I did. So yeah, so then like, you know, towards the end, I started to get like the syrup smell and then, um, then I was like, oh, okay, I'm like done with this one, but I like it in the beginning. So <laughs> I have a little bit of that left. This one, okay, this one also, same thing. So Monster Jam Pancakes Whipped Cream. I have never smelled pancakes come out in a scent note before. This one was mostly the pancake note and I was like in love. I love when, sometimes semi bakery can just smell very generic and I could smell like the pancakes and I was like, yes. Monster Jam, I don't know what the scent notes are. I feel like it's a, uh, a, a lot of different like fruity notes, but I mostly got the pancakes, which was amazing. They smelled like, you know, a real cooking, like a cooked batter. Oh, it was just so good. I've, and like I said, I've never had like the pancake note come out for me. So that was that. I really loved this one. This one was great. I'd probably get this one again. All right, let's move into, I have one from The Bathing Garden. This is the Pinkest Cake. I don't have scent notes on this one because I couldn't find them. I don't know if she's just made a sample on this or what, but this one was, I feel like it was um, birthday cake, essentially. It might've had like spring, candied sprinkles or maybe pink sugar, I don't know. Yeah, it almost felt like there was a candy note, but this one did really well. It was a pretty big sample, I think. I did it in my 17 watt warmer, pink zebra warmer in my bathroom. That thing just does so well. Like my bathing garden samples will last for days and days and days in there and always be really strong. So I had one that I had in like for five days and I finally had to take it out. I mean, it had, the scent had gone, but <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I love that warmer. And I do have a bathing garden haul. It's, it's the circus haul, and I want to try to get it up before the circus collection goes away, but I just, I don't know. Okay, the next one I have is Rainbow Melt Yummy. This is Creamy Zucchini Sweet Sugar Cookies Frosted Birthday Cake. So Rainbow Melt has a really nice zucchini. It's not the corn chip zucchini. It's just that neutral kind of zucchini. It's not spicy, and it's not, what's the other one? There's like a spicy zucchini, and then, I don't know. I feel like the spicy zucchini and then there's the corn chip zucchini. This is the creamy zucchini, which is, I feel like the best one of all because like it's not really too much of anything. But if you don't like zucchini blends, you may not love this one, but out of all the zucchini blends, cause I don't love zucchini blends anymore. Um, especially like the uh, corn chippy spicy ones. I just, I don't like it, but the cookies in here and the birthday cake make this one really good. I'm trying to remember where did I warm this one? I think maybe in the living room. Yeah, but this is mostly like the cookie and cake uh, dominant. You do get a little bit of the zucchini, but I don't feel like it overpowers this one. I feel like it's just a really well blended and I always get good throw from rainbow melts. This is Shiver With Fear. This is peppermint, rosemary mint, cotton candy. Now I do have a vendor that makes my favorite rosemary mint. I don't think she's in business anymore, I'm not sure. This one was good. I mean, it smells just like it says. It was mostly rosemary mint though. I don't know how much peppermint I got, but it's hard when you have rosemary mint and peppermint mixed. It's hard to tell like which is which, but I feel like this one was rosemary mint dominant. 
because I was getting more of like a herbal mint smell with the cotton candy. So this one is good. I think a lot of people like this one and yummy as well. Yeah. So this one was a good performer. I didn't have any problems with it. And I think, where do they do? I think I did this one in the living room. I do a lot of stuff in my living room. Okay, here's another one that I did in the living room. This is chill. This is strawberry shake, mango sorbet, and vanilla ice cream. Loved this one. Okay, so I've just been loving like mango and mango sorbet scents. So this one was really nice. The strawberry shake and mango make a really nice combination with the vanilla ice cream. Yeah, this one is just really, really good. I would probably get this one again. I'd probably get this one shiver with fear and i do think i have yummy in my collection right now so okay and then i have the pharmacist daughter which is raspberry pastries and this is raspberry jam glazed donuts sugar cookies white cake with buttercream frosting and pink sugar so this one was really pretty i was really impressed with this one i love the raspberry and the pink sugar combination I was, I'm sure I was getting some sort of bakery in there, but to me, nothing stood out. It was more about the raspberry and the pink sugar combining. When I put my nose over the top, I could smell more bakery, but like just as a whole on its own, when you're smelling it and walking in the room, this was about the raspberry and pink sugar. More raspberry than pink sugar, but it was good. So yeah, this one was really nice. I enjoyed this one. I wasn't sure, but I enjoyed the two days. Like I split the pie in half and then just put the different parts in different warmers. So, okay. I do have just a few household empties that I'm going to do. I wasn't going to do this, but I'll just talk about them really fast. So in Susan form, I finished some cotton balls. I've been cotton balling a lot recently. I don't like putting my dishes in the freezer because the scentsy ones will, um, break or crack so but my um my other dishes i can put in there so yeah um i finished up a tub of buff city soap if you've never tried buff city soap laundry detergent oh, this stuff is amazing this is in fresh cotton i really like the lavender one but my daughter's been using the fresh cotton so good and the ingredients are really simple you can get them on like every other weekend they'll have like a buy one get one 50 percent off oh, fresh cotton is just so good um it really smells like makes your laundry smell good and um yeah i was gonna say what was i gonna say these last quite a while but they're pricey i think i want to say they're like 17 dollars a bucket so I'd always try to get them on the buy one, get one 50% off sale. Um, okay, oh, I want to talk about this really fast. So this is, I know this is silly, but I always buy rubbing alcohol. And what I do is I put it in a glass bottle like this. I put half rubbing alcohol, half water, and this is what I use for my glass cleaner. I love this better. Every time I go back to something like Windex or my Method glass cleaner, I always go back to rubbing alcohol because this cleans your windows amazingly. You use the glass bottle. Um, it's got the little foam thing on the bottom so you, you don't bust the glass bottle, but um, I haven't broken any glass bottles yet, knock on wood. But um, this is a great way to save money on um, window stuff because I mean, this just cleans windows so like good. Anytime I ever try to put other stuff on, it leaves like a film behind. So I did finish I usually use half. I mean, this lasts me probably about two months. I use this everywhere. I use it on my microwave. I use it on my oven top. Like when I'm done cleaning it, scrubbing it and cleaning it, I'll use that as like a finisher. I use it sometimes on my granite. Not often because I don't think, um, I don't think it's great for the granite, but it does clean the granite. So, and I think it disinfects as well. I believe alcohol is a, somewhat of a disinfect, infect, um, Oh, it's an antibacterial and sanitizer. Okay, so I also finished two things from Lush. I'll just show these really fast. I don't know why this perfume is like, has the oil on it. I don't know if that happened in shipping or what, but 
I finished an American Cream and Silky Underwear Dusting Powder. I love this dusting powder. I use it on the top half of my body in the summertime. It keeps like um, the, like the, like if you're wearing a bra that has like a wire in it and it sits up against your skin, I for some reason get like, sometimes I'll get like red around that area. I know that that sounds weird, but wait. What I meant to say is it keeps you from like sweating and you know, when it's humid and whatnot, it just helps. So, and I love the scent of this. I think the scent of this is, it's got jasmine, vetivert, something else. I don't know, but I've tried the Burt's Bees. Um, I've tried the Burt's Bees what is it, um, baby powder, I think, and it doesn't do near as well, as good a job as this one does. So love that. And then American Cream is just a, I think American Cream is described as like a strawberry shake, but to me, it doesn't ever smell like a strawberry shake, but I did want to finish this up. You can see like I went all the way down to the bottom. So <laughs> I'm trying to use up my perfumes. The last thing I have is a, washer with in pink cotton from Scentsy. So I still have the laundry soft and the laundry liquid, but I went through the washer whiffs like a mad woman. <laughs> oh, so I love pink cotton. I wish they had not done away with it, but um, it's kind of like a fruity. I'm pretty sure there's, I mean, it's got strawberries on it. So I'm sure it's a fruity, um, like clean smell. That's at least what I smell in the thing. It's like a fruity clean. So yeah, really liked the washer whiffs. Um, I have some more that are in a different scent. So I'll get back on like my reviews of like the washing, the washing liquid and the detergent and stuff, washer whiffs, all that. And um, yeah, okay, that's it you guys. That's all of my household empties. I forgot, I, I had two more things. So I wanted to put this in here to remind you to change your Scentsy bulbs. I had not changed my 20 watt Scentsy warmers bulb since I've had the thing and I always have it on. So I was like, you know what? Maybe you should try a new bulb. So done with that bulb. And then I picked up this, I noticed this um, great value blue lavender dish soap. And I like to do dishes with something that smells kind of good. This was okay. You know, honestly, I'm just gonna stick with my Dawn because most of the time my dishes are like, I'm doing pots and pans and they're greasy and Dawn is like really the only thing that cuts through everything. This was nice just to have like if you're doing other things, but um, I mean, I might get this again. I really love lavender smells, so. So, all right, that is my empties, household, and fragrance. Um, I'm not doing a PFRE this time because I don't have enough, but I'm still gonna go through, like try to go through a lot of loaves in the next coming like months. So stay tuned because I will do another PFRE with um, loaves and stuff. And basically, if you didn't catch that on like the last empties, what I'm doing is when I go through like a loaf and I don't love it, I will send it to you just for the cost of shipping. So if you want to pay for the PFRE, I'll send you um, whatever. Like if I have enough left, I'll you know put it in the envelope and send it to you. If, and like the loaves obviously are going to be like a bigger quantity because you know if you don't like a loaf, then you're not going to try to warm through a lot of it. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna try some and, and if I don't like them, I'll send them on to you. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye.